so in our last video we saw that how you can create stack navigation and in this video we will learn about uh, how you can uh, style the header that uh, appear on each of the screen so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i have already opened the ios simulator but uh, if you are using windows or linux then you can also use the android emulator also this example is uh, from our last video here uh, in app.js file we have two screens home screen and product category screen so when i uh, uh, type the correct credential for the email and password and press login user will redirect to the product category screen here so as you can see this is the header for the home screen and if we go to the product category product get, uh, category also have this header so let us see how you can customize this header first of all uh, if you notice that we have not provided any title for the header by default uh, when user don't specify the title for the header uh, react native basically uh, take the value from the name of that particular component for the home screen the name is home and for the product category product category the name is product category so by default it will take those names but we can specify the names uh, of our own for that we need to provide the options here we can provide the title let's say login screen let me just save this as you can see the title is changed to the uh, login screen so this is how you can give the uh, title now uh, if i uh, input the correct credential and press on login and user redirect to the product category then we will not see any back option of uh, uh, the header because in uh, home screen uh, uh, we are not na uh, we are not navigating the users uh, into a, under the screen from the stack we are completely reset it and on the index zero we provide the new uh, screen product category so for this example let me just comment this out because i want uh, to show you uh, how you can customize this back button and title navigation or navigate product category let me just save this now let me write the credentials Bridgen at the red gmail.com password let me press again as you can see now we got that back button now if uh, you want this to visible then you don't need to do anything because by default it uh, it will be visible but uh, we have one uh, property that can uh disable this back button header back visible if i set it to false okay so this is for the home screen sorry here we need to provide the options okay let me just save this and as you can see it will be disappear because the header back visible is false now let me just remove this and it's back so this is how you can uh, make visible uh, or disable the header back so now if you want only the icon the arrow over here 
but you don't want to show any title over here then there is one property for that yeah if we want to disable this uh, title also then you can write header by title visible if i set it to false as you can see title will disappear so this is for the uh, back title now let me just remove this you can also change the name of this back title it's called header back title let's say back to login let me just save this and as you can see the title of the uh, back button is changed now let me provide the styling for this back uh, title for that you need to add head of back title style back title style here you can provide the font size let's say 5 as you can see it becomes smaller if I provide 20 it becomes larger you can also provide the uh, color or the font family etc these are you can customize this big uh, title let me just delete this now by default the header will be visible on each of the component but sometimes it happens that you don't want to uh, show the header we also have property for that header shown by default it will be true if i provide false let me just save this as you can see the header become disappear so these are you can uh, you can also use uh, props here so you can make it dynamic also let me just bring back the header now let us change this title let's say only product screen now we can change the head of tint color let's say red and it will be changed to red the entire head of tint color will change to the red if you want to change the color of this uh, title only then for that head of title style Here we can provide the color let's say blue if I save this the color change to blue you can also uh, uh, mess it around you can provide the font size you can provide the font family etc let's say 20 and it becomes larger you can also make it disappear I had a title visible use header title visible uh, if you want this title to be on the left hand side then you can write header title align but uh, by default on iOS device it will always be center even if I set left it will remain on the center on the iOS device but on Android device it works fine this property will only works on the uh, Android devices So these are you can customize the individual uh, header of the component but if you want some style to remain same for the entire application header it means that uh, every component has the, has the header and has the same type of styling 
then you do not uh, need to repeat this tiling uh, in each of the screen you can simply provide it over here over here you need to uh, assign this on screen options on screen option let's let me just uh, provide let me just okay title remains the same option let me just change delete this one and also delete this much i press save go back okay so if i want the uh, header background color uh, changed for the all the headers all the component headers so i provide it over here header style background color let's say yellow it changes to yellow header oh, oh sorry i need to provide over here header tint color let's say white no not white let's say gray okay so uh, if i press on login you can see the uh, this uh, style applies to the all the components header so if you want uh, a particular style to apply to all the component headers then, then you can apply those over here in screen options in stack.navigator so this is how you can uh, play with the header styling and customize the header uh, however you want we can also uh, provide custom components to the header left and header right we will see how you can do that in our next video so that's it for this video thanks for watching it